हेलो डियर चिल्ड्रेन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल लेट मी आस्क यू फ्यू क्वेश्चन हु डू यू थिंक ऑफ वेन यू हियर दी वर्ड जीनियस हु इज अ जीनियस वॉट क्वालिटीज डू यू थिंक अ जीनियस हैज बट यू मस्ट बी थिंकिंग वाई एम आई आस्किंग दीज क्वेश्चन यस आज नेक्स्ट चैप्टर अ ट्रूली ब्यूटिफुल माइंड is a short biography of one such genius but do you know who the genius is i hope most of you will get the answer albert einstein yes a truly beautiful mind is a short biography of albert einstein in this particular chapter the author wants to convey that one must work hard with full dedication in the field of one's interest only then one can achieve the desired success albert einstein was a genius but even after 50 years of his death albert einstein's genius still reigns so let us see the details of this chapter through the video do read the chapter carefully and go through the new words that come across while reading a truly beautiful mind let us first see the introduction of this particular chapter this chapter is about albert einstein who was a great scientist the title of the chapter a truly beautiful mind refers to albert einstein this is a short biography where some of his qualities have been highlighted albert's interest in mathematics and physics Uh, and also his humanitarian attribute dear children you all know what is a biography you know the difference between a biography and an autobiography the title a truly beautiful mind makes one wonder that how can a scientist's mind be beautiful it is so because in this lesson we come across another aspect of einstein he was a humanitarian he advocated world peace non violence and that is why the title refers to him as a truly beautiful mind let us talk about the title the title is appropriate as it encompasses both the intelligence of einstein and his humanistic tendencies as a genius he made an immense contributions to the world of science by presenting startling theories and as a human being he preached for peace and democracy thus his mind was really beautiful and teeming with new ideas and human concerns now here one word has come across that is teeming which is a new word for you all this word means pouring yes einstein was full of new ideas and he used to pour those ideas to people now let us talk about the brief summary of the chapter i'm going to just highlight all the points which are been covered in the chapter albert einstein was born on march 14 1879 he was born and brought up in german city of ulm his mother thought he was a freak because his head seemed too large he did not speak till the age of 2 here we can have few pictures from his life at the age of 2 and einstein with his sister his nickname in school was boring brother he loved mechanical toys and even wondered where his new born sister's wheels were in the chapter we come across the line where uh, it has been told that he was especially loving mechanical toys looking at his new born sister maja he said to he is said to have said fine but where are her wheels so he used to think about the little girl the uh, new his new born sister was a toy a mechanical toy about his school life albert went to high school in munich he scored good marks in almost every subject but he hated the school's regimentation and often argued with his teachers when he was 15 he hated the school so much that he left it for good 
He continued his education in a German speaking school in Switzerland. He was highly gifted in maths and physics. He also studied in the University of Zurich. His headmaster told his father that he will never make a success at anything. He began learning to play the violin when he was six years old. His mother wanted him to become a violinist. Here is one, or one picture from his school life where you can see Albert Einstein in the circle over here. Now let us talk about his family. He felt a special interest in a fellow student named Mileva Marik. She was from Serbia and had come to Switzerland because it was one of the only places in Europe which had a college where women could get degrees. They soon fell in love and were known to exchange letters that mixed science with tenderness. One such letter from Einstein was, How happy and proud I shall be when we both have brought our work on relativity to a victorious conclusion. Einstein wanted to marry Mileva right after college, but his mother was against it. She thought Mileva was too old for him. They finally got married in 1903 and had two sons. But Mileva was losing her intellectual ambition and becoming an unhappy housewife. They finally divorced in 1919. Einstein married his cousin Elsa in the same year. So here are some pictures from his family. Einstein with Mileva and with his two sons. Talking about his work, Albert graduated in 1900 at the age of 21. He was unemployed and worked as a teaching assistant in 1902. He got the job of a technical expert in a patent office in Bern. His job was to assist other people's discoveries. He was secretly developing his own ideas in his desk drawer, which he named as Bureau of Theoretical Physics. He published his famous paper in 1905 on special theory of relativity, according to which time and distance are not absolute. This theory of relativity given by Albert Einstein is very famous. You all know the chemical, you all know the equation E is equals to mc square. Einstein's theory of relativity. Einstein's new personal chapter coincided with his rise to world fame. In 1950, he had published his general theory of relativity which proved a new interpretation of gravity. Einstein has correctly calculated in advance the extent to which the light from fixed stars would be deflected through the sun's gravitational field. Einstein received the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1921. He was showered with honors and invitations from all over the world and lauded by press. Einstein and the discovery of nuclear fission. When the Nazis came to power in Germany in 1933, Einstein immigrated to United States. Five years later, the discovery of nuclear fission in Berlin had American physicists in an uproar. At the urging of a call colleague, Einstein wrote a letter to the American president, Franklin D. Roosevelt on August 2, 1939, in which he warned against the danger of atom bombs. His words influenced Roosevelt. The Americans developed the atomic bomb in a secret project of their own and dropped it on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August 1945. Einstein was deeply shaken by the extent of the destruction. This time, he wrote a long letter to the United Nations. In it, he proposed the formation of a world government. Einstein got ever more involved in politics, using his popularity to campaign for peace and democracy. When Einstein died in 1955 at the age of 76, 
he was it was celebrated as a visionary and world citizen as much as a scientific genius so this is a letter by einstein written to the president of united nations roosevelt now i'm going to show you a short video which will give a pictorial description to this biography of einstein Albert Einstein not only is one of history's most important physicists, but his quirky personality and fame made him a cultural icon as well. So much so that Time magazine even named him Person of the Century. The inventions that he came up with, the fundamental laws of physics that he figured out, underpin all of our modern day life. They gave rise to the invention of lasers, telecommunication satellites, cell phones. They're everywhere. Albert Einstein was born in Ulm, Germany on March 14th, 1879, but spent most of his childhood in Munich before his family moved to Milan, Italy. After graduating from the Swiss Polytechnic Institute at age 21, Einstein had a hard time finding employment. Einstein tried to apply for multiple academic position and actually was turned down because of a recommendation letter that one of his teachers wrote for him. Albert Einstein found full-time work as a patent clerk in Bern, Switzerland in 1902, and soon thereafter married Mileva Merrick. They would eventually have two sons together. In 1905, often called Einstein's miracle year, he published four hugely important theories, including that of special relativity, or as most people know it, E equals mc squared. Einstein faced significant obstacles in his path to successful academic and scientific career there were very few Jews in academia in the 1910s when einstein became a professor first in prague then in switzerland and then in berlin einstein finished formulating what is considered to be his masterpiece his general theory of relativity in 1915 General relativity wasn't actually proven until 1919 when Sir Arthur Eddington was able to observe it happen with a solar eclipse. Albert Einstein became instantly world famous. Also in 1919, Albert Einstein divorced his first wife and married his cousin Elsa Lowenthal. Adding more luster to his name, Einstein was awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1921 for his theory of photoelectric effect. Einstein came to the United States in 1933 after he had been essentially chased out of Germany by the Nazis, and he became a member of the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton. Albert Einstein continued his theoretical studies while living in Princeton and became a U.S. citizen in 1940. In addition to his research, Einstein is also known for his deep commitment to many humanitarian causes and his wry sense of humor. It is said that Einstein was asked to explain the theory of relativity. He said, "Put your hand on a hot stove for a minute, it seems like an hour. But sit next to a beautiful woman for an hour and it seems like a minute. That's relativity." Albert Einstein died on April 18th, 1955 at the age of 76. Every time you pick up a cell phone to answer a call, you're using the laws of quantum mechanics. Every time you look at a satellite television image, you're using something that is invoking the theory of relativity. Einstein's work continues to be felt today and it's going to continue to be important for generations to come. The things I remember about Einstein are more his personality. The man who warned President Roosevelt about the dangers of nuclear weapons. The man who was offered the second presidency of Israel and turned it down. And the rumpled-haired elderly professor who once when faced with paparazzi stuck his tongue out resulting in the most iconic picture of this amazing personality Albert Einstein explained relativity with a humorous quote When you sit with a nice girl for 2 hours it seems like 2 minutes but when you sit on a hot stove for 2 minutes it seems like 2 hours That's relativity Thus, in this particular chapter, a truly beautiful mind come across the life, the work of Albert Einstein, a genius. Go through the chapter, read it thoroughly. Do look at the new words and its meaning given in the textbook. Till that time, stay home, stay safe.